Awesome. I'm so excited. Yay. Yay. Also, we're back with our Love and Scandal episode with Bread and Butter. <laughs> Today we have Henrietta and Robin. I'm so excited. Everyone's <laughs> dressed to impress today. Uh, so we all have our, our loungewear. Um, I guess you could say we're really cozy today. Very, oh. very cozy in the <laughs> studio. Literally, we have our socks. So. Yes. <laughs> we're chilling. <laughs> Super chill today. So um, one thing I want to start with, like I said, I always want to do this, is everyone introduce themselves and where their bread and butter Starting with you. <laughs> Henrietta, Henry Monet, um, bread and butter right here in Detroit. What's up? Hey. What's up, Mama? What's up? And I am Robin Paul, and I am bread and buttered in Detroit and Southfield. I always get both. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, me, myself, I'm Michonne, um, and I'm bread and butter from Detroit. However, we represent Oak Park today. <laughs> I gotta say that love. It's not a problem Oak with Park. both. Mm-hmm. We're on the border. We're right there. You know. I mean, it like really the, is. Like it really right geographically. You know, if yeah. we look at the map. We'll get I it. mean, you know, Oak Park has only been Oak Park for how many years? It's, a, know? it's a young city. It's a young it is city. a young city. So yeah. technically, Detroit, we still re- we still represent it. You know, they talk. Shout out. Yeah. They talk. They talk. <laughs> Awesome. So today, I'm so excited because we have our Love and Scandal episode. So today, it's going to get a little bit juicy. We're going to go dive right into the love and scandal, different categories. Um, I know Henrietta, she was she was already starting it off <laughs> with the love part. So we're going to let her dish it out real quick. I, I don't know. What you want to start with, girl? All right. So marriage. I know, friends right? With Single, friends with benefits. <laughs> so what? Let me. The okay, homie. let's let's touch on right the homie. <laughs> okay, let's touch on friends and benefit. Friends with benefits. Smashing a homie with the homie. Yeah, with the homie. So um, I don't know how many of us have been in this uh, predicament. I certainly have. Um, as a growing I'm scared to admit young it. lady. <laughs> I mean, it, it is what it is, right? So um, for me specifically i had a very close friend of mine grew up known each other for forever and then uh that decision you know was made to go further right give it a shot um i wonder i wonder who we're talking about okay wonder (laughs) and uh, and 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 it was smooth it was smooth it worked really really well because we truly were like when i say the homie like we ride for each other we fight for each other like it was it was love already in that foundation right so it was smooth um and i know for a lot of people well i won't say a lot Mm -hmm. but i know you know there are endless cases that we'll all hear where oh you don't want to mess up the friendship you don't yeah. want to you know lose someone who's, who's so dear to you so in my case specifically that just was not our outcome right, right. um you know we we had known each other for so long still know each other to this day and are still very very close very tight and um you know when we this when we made that decision to go forward we did it lasted for quite some time and then when we made that decision to actually be take us a, a step away from that space right from that romantic yeah intimacy. how was that transition that's what i am just thinking so like, the transition was just like look <laughs> we, if we not gonna go nowhere with this like i mean doing? it's fun it's enjoyable you know because i'm comfortable with mm-hmm. you we obviously got that vibe but, but like if we really time. exactly so we're moving into spaces where it's like okay well i don't want to be focused on you you know, when somebody no offense. else can be getting Yeah, no this, offense, but, right. But yeah. when I can actually have like a true, you know, genuine relationship with someone that I foresee it being like an internal thing, you know. So that was our case specifically. And we were very much so on the same page. Um and you and we left it at that. Uh there was not any hard feelings because it was it was very mutual. Yeah. Um, but when we took a break away, we did take a break for about a good nine months or so. Wow. It wasn't wow. quite a year. Okay. Yeah, and this was something about, like, we talked every day, saw each other every single day, like, nothing we didn't do. So when y'all took a break, spent the night at like, each other's parents' house. Like, y'all dated other people in that time, and that's so like, it was nine months? I, no, I was just, I mean, we really just lived our lives, so I can't yeah. account for their nine months. Um, In that time, for me, I think I did end up dating one person that started to kind of mm-hmm. advance and get a little serious. And I'm the type of person... If I'm 
if I'm dating someone, I can't, I'm not going to have you in the same spaces with someone that I love I've already that. Had. I'm not going to disrespect you like that. It's Respect, not, girl. It's not, mm-mm. not everybody can do I that. I would never have you walk into this room and then, you know, there's someone else that's in a room looking mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, oh, no. I would smash never. the homie and then I, you got mm-mm. the new bae come up and then right, you're like, so and so. And then he's so, thinking like, yeah, so that nine months, that break was, it was intentional. And I think, and it wasn't planned. It just, that's just how it ended up happening. Wow. And, um, but since then, since we re up, it been still nonstop. Like, this my homie for life. I love it. I love it. No yeah. busting windows out the car. Nothing no, crazy. No crazy. <laughs> Nothing crazy. But if something happened to me, I could still make that call and, and you pull know up what? and vice versa. So it's just a respect thing. Like, I still got you. Yeah. You had some fun, but. So did you call? this person when as I remember one of the episodes you said you had a, like an intruder or somebody was in the oh, back oh yeah like your, that stalker situation that stalker situation oh my god we didn't go into detail but you oh, said that and I was like Whoa. Mm, I know <laughs> I know <laughs> So, no, I did okay. not. I honestly did not call, call like, listen, bro. anyone. I had one ex that I was cool with, and we were still talking regularly. So, you know, I would update them, like, man, this week, da 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 But it was kind of a similar situation on both our ends. So I was checking in, like, okay, what's she do now? Like, what, <laughs> where's she? You need me to pull up? So, you know, I don't I don't know. But, um, but... That situation, no, I didn't. I okay. was good. I was. I knew I was gonna handle it. Yeah, you know, it wasn't a threatening thing. That's the Detroit right there, y'all. <laughs> it wasn't That's no that Detroit. Th- yeah, so I she wasn't like, worried. Was Call night, somebody you know? for what? Call somebody for what? <laughs> she was like, listen, she don't know what I got in this house. I'm saying, oh, go sure. to the closet. Don't mm-hmm. play. I'm, I'm just saying. What about you? Like friends with benefits? Have you like ever been in that that situation? Um, yeah, so France with Benefits, I want to talk more about my rebound. Oh, oh, oh. rebound. Oh, we got to switch it over to rebound. Rebound. (laughs) So my situation, I was dating someone, and we only dated for like five months. It wasn't Mm -hmm. even that long, but it was serious. It seemed like we dated for like two years. Oh, my God. That's a long time. Like, are you serious? Like, it seemed Mm -hmm. like I was together forever. But But if you see them (laughs) often, then I could see how that could be, you know, like a long time. Yeah, Yeah. we were with each other like every single day. Yeah. Yep, yeah, going to parties all the time. But anyway, mm-hmm. that ended. I had a playlist, a breakup playlist. Oh, my you know, God. The, <laughs> the Rihanna, the Taylor oh, Swift. She threw on the Chris all Brown. That. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I had my playlist playing. And then I just met this new boy at the mall. And I was like, okay, I'll see where this goes. Wait, which mall? Fairlane, you know. Oh, you okay. Know, Fairlane. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to figure out, you know, what kind of guy? <laughs> This is Fair Lane. This is Detroit. Well, it's not really Detroit, but it's still Detroit. It's the border. It's the border. South. It's close, you know. Southwest Detroit. That's where border. (laughs) We get it. So, yeah. So, I met him, and um, we became friends. That's the cash me out, mom. That cash me out. It is. But the thing is, whenever you get in a situation like this, you got to keep it real. Mm -hmm. So I was told this guy straight up from the beginning, I'm still getting over my ex. But if you want to be my rebound, then (laughs) all is cool. He was probably down with that, too. (laughs) I love it. He was listening to my playlist with me and everything. Oh, my God. So you know. (laughs) No. It's all good. He wasn't going to last. He was. Well, did he last? Let's listen. It was cool. Like, we did what we did. I okay. was like, when I need you, when you need me, so he this was is pocket, what we do. Back pocket bay. <laughs> but we actually partied. We went to parties together. Like, we actually hung out. And we were, like, friends. Yeah. But when he wanted more than friends, I was like, I can't do it. Like, Aww. only because, like, you need, rebound. like, yes, he was a rebound. And then when you look at for someone as a relationship, like, they got to check the boxes, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So if you're not oh, checking yeah. all the boxes, well, then gotcha. I'm going to wait. And then if you check the boxes later, then come holler at me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So you never know, you know? You never you know. know. You Personality, don't. you know? So, check. yeah, just keep it real, <laughs> keep it truthful. You know what? That's one thing I can say about the both of you, because a lot of people will not keep it 100 with these people, you know, with guys or whatever. There was a situation where I was on the other end of the stick, where or the other end of the, the grass. Uh, <laughs> but um, I was actually friend-zoned, and mm-hmm. I caught this guy out for friend-zoning me. Mm-hmm. So... Um, I was dating this guy, and we had been dating for a while, and this was recent, y'all. And so, literally, um, out of nowhere, he comes, and he's like, 
uh, he said, so you're the homie. And I was like, whoa. That's why I was laughing. Like, no, you didn't just homie me. No, wait, hold on. Did you just put me in a friend zone? Because we're not doing that. Like, we're not doing the friend zone because I will leave today. We will end this right now. I can't do the friend zone. No friend uh, zone. I know, right? <laughs> no sex in the champagne room. Like, I can't deal with, like, the whole, like, because we put people in the friend zone. So, you know what the the characteristics look like or the situation is yeah. like when some, someone is, you know, their symptoms, when they're trying to friend zone you. And then you're like, hold on, wait, what? So when he said the whole homie thing, that was just like, oh, nope, screw it. Mm-hmm. Like, let me just turn around. Um, sorry, wait, what'd you say? Homie? Oh, sorry. I don't do the <laughs> homie. So funny. I'm just not gonna, it's not gonna work out. <laughs> and it's, no, seriously, and it's just, it's been like a dark cloud with our relationship because okay. I want to remain friends with this person, but now it's kind of like, how do you go forward being mm-hmm. friends with someone who literally friend zoned you uh, when you guys were taking things seriously. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So I'm like, friend zone. Who? Okay. What changed today? <laughs> yeah. What did you mm-hmm. eat for breakfast? Because it was something. <laughs> I need to know. Anywho, I can't do the friend zone thing. It, for me, it's like, it's hard. Like, I've learned that, like, friend zoning guys, mm-hmm. we just, for whatever reason, a lot, well, I can't say we, a lot of women will do that naturally. Like we will friend zone mm-hmm. the heck out of a person right away. Like it's crazy. So I have learned to be more selective with my guy friends now mm. because of that more intentional relationships because I'll instantly friend zone to do and they have other intentions. Like they want to date me, mm. but now, and I'm like, uh, uh, no, I just kind of have space for friends, you know, not mm-hmm. trying to take anything serious mm-hmm. with anyone. Mm-hmm. So, but with them, I've learned to just be like, uh, so what do you want out of this relationship? Okay. <laughs> you know, okay. that line of questioning gets kind of awkward, but it's like, I have to establish the, you know, the relationship yeah. up front, whether yes. you want to be friends or whether you want to be more. And then I have to just draw that line. Like, Hey, listen, I don't have the space for something more. So this is what I have space for. If you're not trying to just be my friend, we can't do that. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to use and abuse my friends because a lot of people will do that pocket base you know mm-hmm. they'll have those they will they will have those friends that they can call on uh-huh. you know solely you know we were talking about this solely for the pan, uh what is it the um panera bread yeah. you know uh-huh. like for a panera that's what she said I panera still, bread yeah uh-huh. i was like i can't do that anymore like i can't yeah. do that i can't you know have the the starbucks guy like i right. can't you, you know, know just i mean yeah. I feel like if you have good friends, you don't need that. You don't need the you person don't. that you can just call on to treat you to Panera or Starbucks or, shoot, I don't know, starters, whatever it may be. If you just have at least a good friend or two um, to count on. And that, I think that will prevent a lot of, you know, people that may have those mm-hmm. arterial motives. It's like, yes. oh, I'm friends on right now, but Mm-mm. tomorrow we'll see. Like, no, none no. of that. Like, I got these solid two. And, <laughs> you know, I don't need to go outside <laughs> of that for too much. Yeah. But I like, I sold, we were dating, girl, and then I don't know where he hit me with the whole homie. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Too easy. Say less. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Say less. Deuce. I, All right, bro. I know, Because right? I'll bro you real quick. I know. <laughs> All right, bro. bro. <laughs> but it's like when it's on the other foot. I don't know if it was my ego that took a hit. Like, I think that's what it was. It was my ego. Maybe that's a sense of entitlement for me because, like, I wasn't acknowledging how he may have felt. You know, but my thing is you're saying something different. And then all of a sudden, one day, it's like, Mm -hmm. homie. And I'm just like, bro, like, don't play with me. Like, Mm -hmm. we will fight. Those are fighting words right now. Like, Mm -hmm. you know. But anywho, let's move on. Um, So what do you want to do next? Like marriage or baby mama drop? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. (laughs) It's kind of. Let's see. Um, I don't have any baby mama, baby daddy's drama <laughs> situation girl to be honest be I'm happy. trying to think do I I mean she I kind of had a couple small instances like like the girls that I call like the girl that I call my goddaughter like oh, her yeah. mom that has been a dramatic oh no uh, relationship not anymore okay. thankfully um they got it together 
No, I be done. I be oh, done you with people. <laughs> I miss my goddaughter in pieces. Yeah. But Aww. um but I don't have any space for that moving the drama. forward. Yeah, yeah, for the drama. Especially, you know, we all have those friends that have uh called on us in like very dire time of need. Mm-hmm. Right. Times of need. Um, so to be that person and then it be a dysfunctional relationship mm. is like it's almost abuse. We all know those people yeah. who will call on you every other day with the drama. Every mm-hmm. other, and I'm like, what's going on that's good in your life? Right. What a blessing like that. What a blessing. Like that. I can only keep pulling up so many times <sighs> and jeopardizing myself and oh, jeopardizing no. my fam. Listen, you know, I can only do this for so many times for your safety on you know poor decisions that you have made and that have involved. You know, someone who is near and dear to my heart, who Seriously. I consider my own, yeah. right? Yeah. So that whole Aww. mom, you know, that's baby so mama, sad. baby daddy drama. It, it, I mean, that's real life. That's just it. That's it's just crazy. what it is. Yeah. I had to end a relationship with a friend like that um, because she was going through abuse, and mm-hmm. I know that's a sad time in a relationship. It happens. Yeah. But she was literally. Um, well, we have been friends for years, mm-hmm. but we would go in and out of friendship yeah. because, you know, life. of right, because of life. Yeah. And so she had been dealing with this guy for so many, you know, years um, since she was in high school, actually. Mm-hmm. And uh, he had been abusive ever since. So, I mean, like, abusive to the point where he's broken her jaw before. Mm-hmm. Like, she's had to wear braces. She had to get every mouth was wired shut type mm-hmm. or, ordeal. And I'm just like, you got both parents in your life and sisters and brothers. Ain't nobody. Oh, oh, and you from Detroit? <laughs> no. Yeah, my phone he, he is not ringing at yet. Two and three <laughs> like, o'clock in the morning. It's crazy. Yeah. So she would literally tell me about her situation all the time, and so got to the point where I went to her house this one time. Not only um, years had passed, mind mm-hmm. you. Not only was she pregnant again, right, mm-hmm. by this guy that she swore off, like she would never go back to, mm-hmm. um, and she, she, but she had had dealt with another abusive situation with him while she was pregnant. So he had black in her eye. I didn't even see that the first time I saw her. Mm -hmm. Like, so later on that day when I came back, I saw that she had a, you know, bloody eye. And I was like, whoa, what happened? You know, was this there in the morning? Like, when did Mm -hmm. this happen? You know, she was like, yeah, this happened last night. And I was like, girl, like, that's not cool, like, at all. So just to give you guys an idea, she was watching my kids, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I I went to a job. Yeah, I went to a job interview. So I had had saw that black guy early in the morning. We would have just kept it moving. Yeah. You know, and not like to say that I wouldn't have listened to her or anything. But the kids. kids couldn't have been there. You know what I mean? Um, Cause I'm like, what if he had came back? Like, what? It's like, if he would beat you in front of your kids, what? And why you pregnant? What makes you think he wouldn't do it in front of my kids? If not, you know, go mm-hmm. further. So I had to tell her. I was like, listen, I love you. I, you know, if you need any help with resources, if you really want to make changes in your life, you want to move forward without this guy, um, you want to, you know, do something different. Mm-hmm. Call me. But outside of that, I cannot be around you. Like, I can't have my kids around you. We can't be cool on that same level. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm not inviting you to the cookout because I just, I don't, you know, I can't, I'm sorry. Like, I just can't trust that, you know, you're going to be in a uh, in a safe position. Mm-hmm. Nor will you put other people in your in your environment in a safe position. Because what about your parents? Like, that's not safe. Like, I just know my mom. And if everybody, anybody put their hands on me ever in life, mm-hmm. she would be right there with the baseball bat. So, you know, or something. So, like, I just know that she would be right there. So that would be putting her in a situation yeah. that she didn't have to be in. You know what I mean? People just look, don't think of that. Exactly. Yeah. You're not thinking about other people. So that was crazy. I'm gonna move on for her. Baby mama drama, right? Baby mm-hmm. mama, baby daddy drama. Mm-hmm. Like I can't be like this. not to get mm-hmm. deep, but like that was. Deep. I mean, but it's real life. That's that's raw, you know. Like it's that crazy. happens, and I'm sure so many of us have been in similar situations, or you know, know of someone mm-hmm. that has gone through those types of things. So I mean. You know, we just have to be smart, be wise, not try not to be blinded by what we think is love, you know? Exactly. Yeah. I don't know what she was thinking. Yeah. That's why you got to stay strong. You got to believe in yourself. As long as you love yourself 100%, then you can walk away from those type of situations. You don't have to just depend on somebody just because they're helping you out because they're giving you money or something. gorgeous, Mm -hmm. too, naturally. That girl was, like, one of the most beautiful people I've ever seen in my life, naturally. No makeup, no nothing. 
I mean, hourglass. I'm like, mm-hmm. girl, you just, I don't understand him. The drug dealer, really? <laughs> like, I couldn't do it. Like, I just, no judgment, but yeah, like, judge it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But what about you? Because I know you were telling us, you were giving us some tea earlier. And then. <laughs> <laughs> so, baby mama drama for me? I, I don't you like you talking about ready. no baby mama I drama. I never had to deal with any baby mama drama, thank God. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not trying to deal with. We were talking about I don't scandal, even girl. date people who have babies, honestly. Like, I'm like, okay, you got kids. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, I'm not ready to, like, be into your kids' family like that. Like, you know. Is that just, sad that I'm the same way? Mm-mm. I mean, it's a, a lot, lot of people. Like, are. I'm trying to get yeah. to know you. Now I got to get to know you, your child. And it's just too much. Like, I'd rather mm-hmm. just naturally grow a relationship, see how far we can go, and mm-hmm. then start our own family. Yeah. And then I don't have to deal with, like, the baby mama <laughs> and then the <laughs> other baby and then our children. Like, that's a lot. That blended family can be a lot. It can be a lot. <laughs> we have holidays and everything. You got to yeah. think about Christmas. Thanksgiving, like, how are we gonna blend this together to make it all operate? So, uh, I don't know. I feel like when if you were in a relationship with someone that you really like meshed with and you really loved, they actually was able to balance their time between you and their kids. Mm-hmm. I think they can make it work. There, I feel like that comes with growth, though. I haven't met a lot of people our age with kids who that level of mature. They're at that level of level of maturity you know, where they're able to balance out their lives and their kids' lives and then also have a romance too. You know what I mean? Or you know, so I don't know I don't I haven't seen it like that, but I've seen it with older people where they are able to blend their families together. Mm-hmm. Like that transition was smooth, you know. He might, you know, woo you, bring some flowers or something. You're not thinking about the kids at that time. But then holidays, you're like Oh, oh my goodness, Stacy! How are you? I got something for your daughter. You know, but you never know with the arrangement they might have. If the kid lives with them, or mm-hmm. if the kid doesn't live with them, I don't know. You never know. You might be stepmom, but you might never see a kid. That's, but, that's true. That's happens. fair. <laughs> that's that's a very good perspective because now, and I'm thinking about some of my friends who they're chill like. They may the children may go out of town for like mm-hmm. you know the spring breaks and for the summer and you know they have different partnerships and stuff with either the other parent or you know the grandparents that stay down south so they always go to grandma so mm-hmm. they only you know or different arrangements so myself looking back on it I've only had one relationship um, where I dated someone who did have a child who was mm-hmm. a parent and um, and I'm not one to discriminate uh, rather you have a you know a parent uh, not a parent but a child former relationship whatever it may be um, you know if I like you I like you right um, so and sometimes that information does not always come up front either this is right? true sometimes it comes up on the phone call uh-huh. like yeah cause I'm about to go pick up my daughter wait a minute hold Whoa, on wait, daughter, let's go back wait a minute daughter <laughs> where's she we've coming been, from we've, right we've already been talking for months like we have months mm. in now so Girl, well okay you have a daughter click. okay so and I'm definitely not that type of person <laughs> but um but and then one thing that I have learned about myself from what people tell me especially if they have little girls like they want me to be around because I'm like a really role good model. influence yeah. and role model I can see that. which was the case with my goddaughter so in this one relationship where I the really play stepmom for a year. That's what it was. Um, we spent majority of the time at my house. Um, and I mean, this little girl, she had How her was own that room. at your house? Wow. It was beautiful. I, I love it. The whole stepmom for a year. But I mean, it was beautiful. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I embraced them as though they were my family. We spent yeah. holidays together. Um, you know, we did everything together and I would pick up, um, I'm not going to say her name, but I would pick her up from school and uh, what else? She would come in my house and, you know, she basically had her own bedroom and and it was awesome. I really did enjoy that. Then we would have play dates with my goddaughter. So it was a ton of fun. Um, But I will say why it it took me back quite a bit because, you know, I I date women. You know, I date women. So the woman who I was who I was dating at that time was a more masculine woman, a person, woman. And. And um, this was, you know, obviously a child that she had from like a Mm -hmm. a 
prior point in her life, right? So it what well, that was probably the more the most um like that took some getting used to, right? Okay, yeah. Um so and really and then maneuvering in that role and then having to deal with, you know, the dad mm. was a it was a much different situation, wow. right? Yeah. So cause now I'm dealing with the with the daughter's dad, right? Wow. So, but nonetheless, I mean, the girl and I, we were, like, bond. That was my little mini-me. Especially Aww. because her mom was not a very feminine. You know, she was just, yeah. like, straight tomboy, right? So... So she can relate to you a little bit. She, more. she yeah. just loved me, ate me stuff. up. Yeah, she just was, like, always call me mom. I just was like, you have to ask your mom, can you call, you know, can you call me mom? That's so sweet. Like, Christmases, she always, her mom would have to get up and go to work early. I always had you know presents for her underneath the tree and I took a lot of pride in that so I mean like I said I don't discriminate if you do you do if you don't you don't that's cool um so yeah if it works it works (laughs) I feel like I do because as soon as they say they got a kid it's just like it's gonna be a lot of work. And then, just like I said, in my case, it was not upfront information. Oh, no. So it was already oh. like, yeah, yeah. so you yeah. said like, mom said you. Woo. <laughs> Right. I do feel like we need a resume. Like, you know check what? Your boxes before we get started. Like, why do you gotta break my you heart in me. month three? Okay, like, like dang, she we already me. got, we already got so much planned. Like, we the ball ticket. I know. <laughs> I got to go. On I'm still going. <laughs> you remind me of Katherine Heigl, and what's that movie with? Um, oh my God, what is it? The love. Mo- it's a romance movie. Um, with Gerald Butler. Oh, I love it. You the know? Ugly Truth. Yes, The Ugly Ooh, Truth. Oh, I love that movie. Her with yes. her checklist. And she got her list. Yes. yes. That's See? a good one. That, that is. Girl, that's what you remind me of. Seriously, if we had a resume, it's just like, fill this out real quick. Be like, <laughs> that can save me so much time. Don't break my heart. Don't have me break your heart. Let's mm-hmm. just like, oh my God. Figure this out right now. I don't know. Have a they, meeting. They never go according <laughs> to plan because like, as soon as, it's kind of like, that Instagram profile pic. You know what I mean? Like, no, it's, gonna lie. you know, it's so small. <laughs> Some people, you know, Quick little snapshots. you know, you know, <laughs> yeah. and, and you know, once you get around the real deal, it's like, oh, so that's what you mean by that. Oh, cool. Um, sure. You know, it's not like I feel like I need to meet a person in person. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I agree. And then I don't the even resume. Get on social media. Yeah, no, but yeah. and then the so the what she's talking about the resume. Like the resume sometimes don't equate to the person. You know what I mean? What's on mm-hmm. paper may not equate to what you know real life or vice versa. You know, <laughs> like this person may be padding their resume. You know, we don't know. <laughs> But um, it's true. let's talk about scandal, because, like, I got some stories, y'all. Like, all right, all right. <laughs> I got some stories. What's how we got? I'm like, ready for the tea, girl. Girl, okay, so I'm going to start with... <laughs> <laughs> she got the I'm cup. ready. She got... I'm ready for it, girl. <laughs> she got the cup. <laughs> let's get into it. Okay, so, listen. This is what I was talking about earlier with my sister, y'all. Oh, my God. I feel comfortable talking about this now, but it was a big deal back in the day, y'all. Like, we was beefed out as a family for, like, the longest because my family, we everybody fell out over this, which was so okay. stupid, right? Okay, so my cousin and my sister, my cousin was dating this guy, mm-hmm. right? And um, But this guy was just, I don't know what was going on with their relationship. You know, there were some accusations being made um, on his end or on her end. I don't know. He was talking about she was doing some other stuff, whatever. Okay. They didn't have a perfect relationship, yeah. which, you know, where he went out and he was trying to hit on my sister, Right, knowing it knowing that it was her cousin, yeah. right? Just Messy, add that in there. you know, knowing. It was not Randall, and so I know it wasn't because she introduced her. <laughs> That's how it be. So she, um, well, this guy, you know, he owned this 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 location, and my sister, you know, needed resources from this location. We're not going to say what it is at this point, right? So she needed, she wanted the resources, right? So my sister just played along entertained this dude for a whole year like there was no you know romantic you know anything from my sister's end and but on his end he was disrespectful like he was legit downplaying my cousin disrespecting her you know just telling all their business back and forth and my sister was just like i don't care like what they got to do with me you know she was literally just whatever you know Mm -hmm. as long as i can get what i want out of this guy whatever you know in my mind this is how this is playing out so um it got to the point where he was getting so rude and disrespectful my sister had to block him Mm -hmm. 
So she blocked him for a good, I think, like a month or so, right? Mm -hmm. And so it got to the point where we found out my cousin was expecting. And my sister decided to tell me this. She was like, oh, my God, he just hit me up telling me that she's expecting. It's probably not my kid, yada, yada, yada. And I'm just like, oh, my God, the tea. Girl, what's going on? Like, so he's telling you all of this, like, for real, for real? Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, oh, my goodness, look at this. Like, she's... You know, but this guy would be sending her all type of stuff, trying to fly her out to different states. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, showing her his bank account, just trying to woo my sister. Mm -hmm. But my sister wasn't having it. Yeah. And so, because she don't want to be the side chick. She's not that person, let alone that's her yeah, husband. That's right. right. Yeah. And so she, um, it got to the point where me and her, um, we had a conversation. And I was like, listen, I think you should tell her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At this point, you know, a child is involved now. You have to let her know. You got to be up front with her. Just tell her, you know, what's the worst that can happen. You know, just, you know, sort of take yourself out of this situation because you're doing this for you. You're not doing it for them. You're just removing yourself from the situation and you're just putting it all out on the table. That's all you got to do, right? So she goes, she does this. My cousin, she takes it really well, right? She's like, oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Well, she's like, yeah, can I... Um, can we call him on the three-way? You know what I mean? Like, okay. Can we call him, okay. put him on speakerphone, just, you know, set him up? My sister was like, I don't want to be involved in that. Mm -hmm. Y'all do you, mm -hmm. right? So I don't know if my cousin took that as, a, you know, like uh, a, a, in a bad way because moving forward, she decides to get upset about it later on. So this is after we've already left the venue. Mm -hmm. You know, we're gone. She's already told her everything. And, you know, hugs and kisses have already been, you know, mm -hmm. bye, love you, mm -hmm. see you later. Later on, she gets these, you know, crazy texts, <laughs> these calls <laughs> from my cousin mm -hmm. talking about you did this, you did that, you were trying to come for my man, yada, yada, yada. It was crazy. It was crazy for the longest, like yeah. for the longest. And so my sister ended up blocking them. So they're calling from block numbers now. Both of them. <laughs> uh -huh. Both. No. No, the, the, the girl. Cousin. Yeah, so the cousin. So my um the guy, he I don't know if he has sent her something, but then he stopped because he's not even in it anymore. Like he's like, Oh, we're you already snitched on me, whatever. You know, he's like wiping his hands with it. Mm -hmm. You know, and so he's trying to do damage control with the girl now at this yeah. point. You oh, know? Wow. And so he's telling her all type of lies, apparently, you know. So she was believing what she wanted to believe. And I was just like now you know everybody's going to get involved because now other cousins are involved, right? So uh, other cousins are reaching out to her like, hey, listen, what happened, yada, yada, because it's not looking too good on your end. Um, and I'm just like, wow. So now sisters are getting involved. I wasn't involved at this point because I'm just like, it's no point. Like, what am I saying? You know, what am I going to say? But when it started getting disrespectful, where people are starting to, like, make mm -hmm. Facebook posts about, like, yeah. situations and yeah. stuff, it was so, it got so bad. Like, my aunt put out a video, like, 11-minute video. I kid you not. An 11-minute video Auntie. talking about, and Auntie. she literally worded it. The caption was, uh, so-and-so versus so-and-so. Like, we're talking about my sister and my cousin. Like, that's how she did it. I'm like, what in the ghetto? Like, but I didn't... <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. So she literally went back and reflected in this video because I'm watching. It's like 2 a.m. I'm watching, eating popcorn. Like, what is this video about? So <laughs> I'm watching the video, and she's literally going back in time talking about a situation where her cousin stole her man and i was like oh my god the tea but this is like our family <laughs> though went back to 89 <laughs> i girl mm -hmm. 2000 99 2000s type mm -hmm. back in the day and i'm just like wow i had no idea that happened really oh you my god like, cousin Gwen? i know <laughs> your cousin like, you stole your up? man <laughs> you i see why y'all never talked to each right, other right now i know it makes sense <laughs> When I tell y'all, I was like awesome. literally, soul food. girl, so <laughs> everybody food. got that cousin face. Mm -mm. Everybody, mm -mm. and so I'm like dissecting this video, like, oh man, try not to judge nobody, but I'm like, really, she took her husband, like, wow, really, her boyfriend, and then you married her. Listen, no, oh, okay. listen. She married so him. yeah, she, so yeah. like she took her boyfriend and married him type yeah. stuff. I was yeah. like, whoa. Well, but I you guess. put that in an eleven minute video, caption somebody else and their beef, and then you go on to talk about a situation that happened in the family. That's true. Years so ago. Cool. And I'm just like, Oh my God, the yeah. tea. So that <laughs> so I'm like, 
what is going on? I, so you can look at the cat, the I'm sorry, the comments in the video. There's like so many comments, you know, and I'm, I'm sure. just, and I'm just like, oh. And so I sort of got dragged into it because like my aunt um, made another video, but she was literally going on a crazy rant about my mom, my grandma. Like she didn't brought everybody. And so that situation evolved into like a whole family beat. That's that whole scandal. Nip it in the bud. Girl, mm -hmm. listen. And I was just mm -hmm. like, how in the world? So you know these people like they don't talk when they come around each other. Like they're in LA all the time together. No, they're missing each other. You know, and it's just crazy because my family is something else. I was just talking to my mom earlier. I'm like, God, come on, the unity. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> that part. That that part, that girl. Part. There's a lot to go on with that, but that part. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. scandal. Um, so that brings the question to my uh to tell or not to tell a friend when you know that there how yeah, when you know there's infidelity, when you know Ooh. they're like you know, nah, I think he might be or I think she might be. No, you know. Facts. So to tell what her kind not of friend tell, are we talking about? Are we talking about childhood friend or are we talking about friend I just met last year at Starbucks? Um, so I'm going to take the like timeline out of it because <laughs> you can be not cool with Either childhood one. friends and you can be mad cool with new mm -hmm. friends. So I'm going to just say this is your really good friend. Like this is your home. This is your home girl. Yeah. To tell her or home guy to tell her not to tell. I'm snitching. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I got to say it like that, but I'm saying it like, cause I just feel like, I would want somebody to tell me mm -hmm. if you saw my boyfriend with anybody, like if you saw them, if he was looking cozy with somebody, even cozy. if I know, even if perception, your perception was just off. Like, but if you felt like he was being um, inappropriate in any manner with another woman, please, by all means, let me know. And I'll address that accordingly. Hey, you know, while I'm chopping food up, so you know, Cooking so I know. Stove. <laughs> you know, just she's like, you know, just while I'm, you know, preparing something. Uh, so you know, so and so saw you earlier with Samantha. You know, how did that go? You know, you could explain because yeah, she just told me that you didn't look so. You know, so I feel like you would be able to address it accordingly. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now he can give you his version of the story. You choose to believe it or not, you know, but depends on where your trust is with your bae or whoever. Mm -hmm. um, you can go from there. That that opens dialogue is what I'm trying to say. It does. It you does. know, what about you? You tell yeah. me. I completely agree. I think if you're friends, like you were best friends, you're that close. Mm -hmm. You need to tell me. Like, don't just have me looking stupid, mm -hmm. buying this guy gifts, talking to you like, oh my god, girl, what he did to me and all this other stuff. I'm mm -hmm. just so in love, and she's all like in the back of her head, no oh, it's all fake. <laughs> like, this, yeah, no, I don't have nothing. me being right. out here. When I can handle it, you know? Exactly. If you know, tell me. So I can move on. We don't exactly. want to waste Exactly. Don't waste my time. Exactly. That's what the resume is for. You Stop know Stop wasting time. <laughs> you yes. know what? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that resume. Are you telling your friends or are you, like, going to let them figure it out themselves? So I personally have never been in a situation. Okay. Um, I... I'm not one to let my friends be out here looking I've been in that situation. type of way. I'm not. <laughs> um, I just have to be very mindful of the manner that I go about disclosing this yeah. information and verifying for myself as well to mm. be sure so I'm not adding no extra drama. And How one thing verify? that I... Um, I mean, them? when if no, I'm not approaching anyone, but if I see it and it's evident and it's clear, you know, I may, I may, it may raise a flag for mm, me, right? And yeah. I may look for some confirming evidence, which could lead to some confirmation bias. But I mean, I'm gonna just make sure I know what I talk, I'm talking about before I go to my home, girl, right? There you go. Now, I know in some spaces, like certain friendships, they'll be the person that is not ready to accept the information. So they mm. may flip on the friend or the family member that's the, telling don't them. Don't kill the messenger. Right. Don't kill the messenger. So, one, know your friend, right? Know how you think they're going to handle and take the situation. And, um, you know, say it when, when you know, I think, is just the huge one so because i don't know it might it really could be a cousin it really could be this i don't mm. really know um but 
You know, she really could have just had a death in the family and he was being a good friend. Like, I really don't know. Yeah. So, you know, like, situation always dictates. So, I'm going to just make sure that I'm not jumping the gun so I don't throw don't no like extra. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. I look like I'm the messy friend, right? Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to just try to, you know, really, when that flag is raised, I'm going to just pay a little bit more attention and make sure that I go to my friend, like, out of the kindness of my heart. Like, look, this is what you want to question them about or this is what you want to find out. I'm not going to say, that he's doing this or she's doing that but there are some things that make it look like they might have something else on the side so you might just want to pay attention to those things yourself and if you feel it in your gut or if you know like oh no that's tiff or you know jason or something whatever you because you might know and i might not so but i'm 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 gonna give you the evidence (laughs) i mean i'm I'm gonna give you the evidence that's what i'm gonna do present yeah Yeah. how we feel about side chicks Mm. Side chicks, as in our boyfriend side chick, <laughs> or, or like being a side, side chick. chick, or being a side chick. Both Let's talk both. about being a side chick. <laughs> Have we ever been a side chick before? Okay, I'll start. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just to start. Um, no, I haven't. Surprisingly, shockingly enough, I have not been a side chick before. No, because like guys, sometimes you know they ain't nothing. You know, mm-hmm. um, depending on the guy. Um, so no. Or did you just not find out? You know what? Maybe I I'm just. just well, no. Okay, so we got to go back to my timeline here of dating. You know, um, I was in a serious relationship with someone out of high school for six years. Mm-hmm. So I we ended things. I believe it was twenty four ish. I took three years to even remotely go on a date with the guy. Mm-hmm. So uh, twenty seven now at this point. So in the last couple of years, I've dated people, but nothing like I haven't had relationships with people. So I can't. I haven't had a serious relationship. The one serious relationship I had with somebody turns out he was a psychotic person. You know all oh, about this guy. The one. That guy. I remember. You know? Yeah. Now, if y'all, if y'all heard rough. about that, please don't I judge heard, me. I thought I was going to have to drive out You there know what? <laughs> that guy. Um, yeah. So that that was the one that just made me go back under a rock. Like, I'm just, I can't, you know, win mm-hmm. for losing at this point. But um, I haven't really taken anybody serious since then. So I surprisingly haven't been the side chick, you know. Mm-hmm. I've had some silly, stupid situations with guys. But, like, I haven't had any infidelity or, you know, like, my ex told me three years into our relationship that he was dating another girl and he chose me. And I was just like, well, now you tell me. Oh, wonderful. So I started on you know? the side chick. Ah, yeah. thanks. Mm-hmm. Thanks for telling me. Yeah. Needed to know that right now. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we didn't last. But, you know, <laughs> I'm just saying. But um, I haven't been the side chick. I don't have any regrets. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> yes. Shut Good up. Commitment. Yes. Oh I wish no I was, side the, chick was I the side chick. But in my situations, <laughs> I feel like. In my relationships, like real relationships, yeah. I don't feel like there was any side chicks in that. But like when you're just kind of like fooling around with somebody, like okay, we just I don't know what we are. Like you don't even know what the situation really yeah. is, mm-hmm. and then you get mad when you find out that there was someone else. Yet oh you can't God. break up with them because this is no situation, together. and yeah. it's like, what is this? That, the situation ship. The situation ship. That's yes. confusing. That is so <laughs> confusing. Oh, man, I had a situation ship before, and it just didn't end well, you know? I mean, it was a situation. Like, I, that's mm-hmm. all I got to check it up to. Mm-hmm. They are the worst. No, that was the one who called me the homie, remember? <laughs> oh, there, there you go. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. that's why it was a situation ship. Uh-huh. Thought it was going somewhere. Mm-hmm. Homie. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, I had a guy on his phone. He was like, I'm just here with a homegirl. Ah, friend no. zone. <laughs> friend zoned you on the phone though with the homie. He oh. was on the phone with his friend. And he yeah. was like, yo, I'm just here with the home girl. Like, okay, home girl, homie, friend zone. You would never. That's <laughs> when you start to grab your coat. Oh. Oh. I gotta go. Yeah. Oh, I'll see you later. Nice, nice, yeah, nice seeing you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever you talking to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what about you? Side Jake? So to, to my be knowledge. or not to be. <laughs> Don't be the side chick, y'all. Don't be the side chick. Nah, don't do it. Um, That's scary. There are situations where, like, people play that friends for benefit role. Mm. And even though they may have someone, that friend 
with benefits is the side person essentially like the one you know the on and off again yeah. sometimes not even as high as on and off again but just like really always been messing around low key but um me personally i have not been in the side chick role uh while i was dating someone that was in an actual relationship yeah um so i've been in a space where they were kind of like on again off again with oh, someone yeah. and then i was kind of on and off again with that person as well so like not at, within overlapping times yeah. if that makes sense um so that's been one situation. Pop up. No, it was straight. Oh, okay. It was straight. It was cool. It was like, oh, okay. Um, I don't. I don't get offended by much. I don't. I don't care very often because I don't. I'm very particular. Because mm-hmm. once I put my heart into something, I put my heart into it. Like yeah. all of me. Like all of it. We right. And then all some, in. So so up front, I don't be caring, mm-hmm. right? Because I can't afford to just go all in just yet right yeah so i mean i haven't been in a situation where i was friend zoned um like just bluntly i'm trying to think no no i haven't been in that situation it could still happen who knows (laughs) could happen in this current situation who knows we shall see but um but i do it to people (laughs) Yeah, and I'm just, I just be like, I'm I'm used to being a homie, though. Like, yeah. I'm used to being one of the bros. Like, Mishan knows that all of my, like, best friends are guys. Yeah. So, you know, I have, like, one female best friend, right? So, I'm used to that. I've always been in the space where I was with all the bros, all the, mm-hmm. so it's like, it's, it's really easy. I don't. I don't care. I don't get offended by that. I'm yeah. like, oh, well, that was good. Like, if you if you did that move with me and you on the phone, it might be a potential bull or whatever, and you hit me with the homie line, I'm going to be like, hey, what's good? Like, yeah. I'm going to, because I'm going to bro you, you real it. quick. Yeah. I'm going to bro. bro you real All quick. Right, bro. Like, it hurts bro. your feelings. I'm going to bro you. <laughs> Okay, she so said, ain't nothing like, ain't nothing like, yeah, that. like what's good, what up? I'm gonna be hitting you with the high, what up? Like, uh, like what's good with it? That's how I'm, that's how I'm gonna do. So, so, like in a situation where have we been in that situation where, um, what's that movie with Vivica Fox and Two Can Play, play That Game? Yeah, remember Gabrielle, uh, yeah, Gabrielle Connie. Connie, mm-hmm. Connie. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm <laughs> thinking of, like Connie. scandal, because like. Pony. And the, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that was a committed relationship that they were totally in. committed relationship, and you know, kind of was kind of a bust that. I, you know, what's crazy is I've seen <laughs> that kind of situation happen before, where um, with a relative of mine, I was at home. <laughs> Okay, so my mom. Um, so we were at home one day. I, <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about that. Like I was trying not so to funny. say names or point, but so I felt like there was. I wasn't. I was a only gonna give it away. <laughs> Pray okay. for me. Okay, so we were at home, and out of nowhere, this lady came and literally uh, bust the windows out her car. Like, yeah, new car. She made the guy pay for everything, but like. Mm-hmm. It was crazy because that baby mama drama was real. Like, out of nowhere. This is on the east side of Detroit, y'all. Like, it was chaos. Mm-hmm. Like, I've never seen stuff. Like, well, you don't usually see stuff like that um, back then where we were because it was a very quiet neighborhood at mm-hmm. that point. Mm-hmm. But, like, I've seen stuff like that recently in Oak Park. Like, I, I recorded it and put it on my Instagram, my stories, remember? Like, oh. the lady who came up and she was jumping on this dude's car. First of all, she pulled up. I'm sitting there on my phone. And I know, right? About to go into my grandmother's house. And then out of nowhere, this car pull up, pulls up directly in front of us. And I'm like, I could tell by the way she blew through mm. that stop sign. She was about to stop. Like, I knew it. It was at that moment you knew. It, right. That's why I pulled <laughs> <laughs> you know, we pulled out Instagram. Um, so, and I'm shocked because my phone be acting stupid. You know, like start freezing but during good moments. On that very day, we get oh she gets pulls up and then she pulls out this pink bag and like it had these heavy objects in it. And she starts throwing it at the cars and stuff. I'm like, wow, like what is going on? Mm-hmm. So she throws it at the cars and then I don't know. She threw something at the door. And then she uh, runs, and then she jumps on top of their cars. And I'm just, like, trying to stump out the windows. Like, and I'm just, like, 
you're not really doing no damage, but okay. And so out of nowhere, there's like three guys who comes out of the house, like, and she jets in her car, and they jet after her. It was just a crazy situation. I don't know if a guy can make me that crazy. Like, I don't think there's any I'm guys. I'm not going to care. See? Chuck it up. Deuces. It happens. You know? I mean, I might have the playlist lesson. for a minute, you know? But I, I don't think that I can. Love can't make me that crazy. Like, do I, where I have to get even on a physical level. <laughs> I'm thinking of a situation. So, uh... Myself, personally, I'm not one to do that. Uh-huh. Uh, I have had moments where I was young and hot-headed <gasps> and have made empty threats, right? Um, like, <laughs> oh, I do this. I got you. Like, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> we pulling it up. You know, my goons. I've, I've, <sighs> I've done that over the phone, right? For myself, I've never, I, I've never, in that case, I was really, really hurt. It was like my first list. So I was really hurt. But... In my own situations, I've never done anything like that. However, I will confess this um, because many people already know. I've always been that friend that my friends called. It was like, pull Pull up up. right now. (laughs) Pull up right now. Even the guy friends, like my best friend, Dion, I remember him pulling up when I was at my cousin's house yelling through the window when we was upstairs. Like, I need y'all to come downstairs right now. This girl crazy. (laughs) He pulled up. We hopped in the truck, drove to where the girl was. He needed backup. Like, yes, need to back up and the same thing with my friends so like I've never done that situation but I've definitely pulled up at the other baby mama's house with my friends told my friend wow. stay in the car you don't do nothing we got you me and everybody else got out the car we got friends but how we respectful bottles, is that windows. where the guy he I, doesn't want to hurt the girl so he calls the other group of girls yeah. to, I mean I grew up with through. that I'm gonna call yeah. my sister my sister gonna take care of yeah. you I grew up understanding that like I can call my big brothers and if cause they not gonna they'll put handle hands, that yeah yeah they, and my my guys, they not gonna put their hands on no females. They some stand up guys. Don't yeah. put their hands on ladies. They're some stand up gentlemen. So they They're gonna call us. Yeah. They gonna internally. call us. Like wait till my best friend get here. BS. BS. <laughs> like that's just that's just how it was. So I have never ha- I've never done the like slitting tires and busting out windows Man. for the, for myself. Carrie but Underwood, for my friends. Yo. <laughs> For my oh, my song, I know. But <laughs> but for my friends, I was always the person they called. It didn't matter two a.m., three a.m. She said she bringing the Louisville Slugger. She, I <laughs> I that's mm, I was that friend. I oh was. my god! I wish we had time to really go into detail, but I really want to know. <laughs> go go! I really want to know. Like, have you ever been that person where like? Okay, so for me to get me that angry, there's only, like, one person who ever got me that angry because they yelled at me so scandalous. Oh, so, no. like, I left their house, and then whatever was in the back of my seat, like, I thought about throwing <laughs> stuff, breaking <laughs> stuff. I thought about keying the car. I was mm-hmm. like, no, I can't do it because then they're going to find me. They know where I live. I can't do it. Oh, no. But I found whatever was in the back of my car, newspapers, paper towel, <laughs> ripped that stuff up, left TV. it on the front, <laughs> and drove off. <laughs> they were so mad. They came chasing after me, but I was already gone. And it was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh my goodness. I'm proud of us. I'm you very know proud what? Of I'm us. proud of us too. Yeah. I feel like we've either come a long way or we hadn't really caught that kind of case. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I've seen some people in some situations mm-hmm. where they like, they pulling up for real, for real, and the authorities pull up too. Like, you know, mm-hmm. people being taken out to jail. In the you know? back of police cars, and handcuffs <laughs> locked on wrists. <risk. laughs> she said, you know, like, it was personal. Because it was. Because <laughs> it was. But I'm safe. No. You know what? We've grown. We, we <laughs> have Jesus. <laughs> we, you know. He helped us. Mm-hmm. We've, we've grown. A lot of growth. Yes, oh, I'm man. Proud. That is so hilarious. But anywho, we have to wrap up this love and scandal episode. Uh, I feel like there should be a part two at some point, but whatever. We'll figure this out. Um, but thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Henrietta. Thank you. Uh, oh my God, Robin. <laughs> I'm so no. I wanted to call you Beyonce. Like, hey. <laughs> thank you so much right. for coming. I know because <laughs> thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited and I'm. So Excited. I love love and scandal. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Bread and Butter. Bye. <laughs> Bye.